Now at five, Christmas is here, a time for joy and cheer, but someone somewhere will always be going through a tough time. CBS 12's Josh Rep reports from Lake Worth tonight where a man in a red suit made Christmas happen for a single mother of three struggling to pay her bills, let alone presents. And it's a story that's all new tonight at five. We heard all the fire trucks. <laughs> A major accident. No problem was going to get out of the neighborhood this morning. Say what you will about Jolly St. Nick, a fictional character to the skeptics. But to the people living on 4th Avenue North in Lake Worth, well, we went to the window and then we saw Santa. They saw and they believed he is real. Young and old running to catch a glimpse and snap a picture of Chris Kringle atop his shiny sleigh, courtesy of Palm Beach County Fire Rescue. The best thing is the smiles on those kids' faces. The sheriff's office happy to guide the Believe in Santa Foundation. It's a nonprofit startup in its first year. We've got some big since last year. And Melissa Royal single mother of three was one of dozens on the company's nice list this year. Sometimes you think people don't care and I'm just in shock right now. She didn't know it, but a friend secretly nominated her and her children to get a visit from the man in the red suit. I wasn't able to buy them anything because I have to, you know, pay all my bills and keep a roof over their head, so I wasn't able to buy them anything. So, it means a lot. Yes, I wish oh! The Royals giving back the gift of gratitude. Oh, yes. Nothing more important than bringing joy to a child's life. So coming out on Christmas Day and visiting with three boys that have been so good that really deserve a good Christmas, that's what it's all about. So say what you will about Santa Claus. Oh. But there's no doubt the joy on these faces is real. In Lake Worth, Josh Rep, CBS 12 News. Now, the Believe in Santa Foundation just started up in September. In their first Christmas alone, they delivered over 600 presents to 27 families. The nonprofit organization is based out of Boynton.